Well, I haven't done a video in a while, and I've been super busy, so I just thought I would quickly show you what it's like in the studio before an art show. And uh, I've been working nonstop in here for about three weeks, and so all these pieces are, are new, and I'm loading up the van, heading out tonight after I shower. So here's some new ones. Now some of these, like this one, I do a series of them. No two are ever the same. And of course the cubes, these are my hollow forms. And you can see inside of them. Very tricky to make. All made from a single burl that I cut up into pieces. Different woods, African blackwood burl, California buckeye burl. This is swamp oak burl. There's a new little one, um, sycamore. This is the uh, colored laminate wood, spectra ply. You can get this through uh, CWP-USA, Cousineau Wood Products. Um, here's another new one. See, I'm showing you these because um, they're not going to get photographed, likely. I'm on my way to Dallas, heading out tonight. This is um, Argentine Camphor. Um, heading out tonight, and uh, i got two shows in a row. Dallas and Houston, here's one for the wall. And... Um, these would probably be sold before I can ever photograph them. So I like to every time I do a show, I want I want a strong variety in wood species, wood for color and country of origin and figure. So I like a burl, maybe next to a straight grain wood, a real nice clean, non-figured wood like this piece of black walnut. Um, also, I do my electrified series, so I like a variety of shapes. Obviously, I, if maybe anybody who's following me, um, other sources other than just YouTube, um, you might see a series of these, obviously, on my website or Instagram. Find me on Instagram if you want to see my regular um, updates of recent pieces. Um, these are all the natural colors of the woods. I'll just throw that in there quick. Um, uh, the, only th the only thing addition here is the, uh, the use of the blue here. This is actually a Banksia seed pod in between two halves of a... Um, red Mal Australian Red Mallee Burl, and uh, it's a fan-like shape. I do these in a great variety of, uh, of sizes and forms, all sort of having that fan shape. Here's what they look like after I cast them. So I take the burl, cut it in half, and sort of book match it. Lay it down in a plastic bag, and I get some HVAC tape uh, suspending a Banksia seed pod in the middle, and then that's a uh, high-grade epoxy. Um, I can also do it with uh, polyurethane resin if it's small enough to fit in my pressure pot. But anyway, and then I, I make my own bases. That's stainless steel. These are regular steel. Um, that's actually cast iron, just because I was using a scrap piece of cast iron. This is a recent... Um, actually, I did my first one of these back in January, just now getting around to another one. Um, I'm suspending a glass form. This is a twisted glass form in between two pieces of Andaman Paduk from the Andaman Islands, and uh, that's the most red. I mean, this is a, that is a natural red. There is no color enhancement. Uh, the finish I'm using these days, okay, so here's bo uh, Cal oh, I'm sorry, uh, box elder maple. Uh, that red is natural. That's the tree's immune system repelling a fungus that a beetle brings into the tree. This, of course, my electrification series. Um, I always at least like to have a piece available with that. Um, I'll do a video sometime, or I say I will. Gosh, I hope I get around to it. Just, like I said, just so busy. Um, Ilva is an Italian company. Come on, focus. Um, I'm using their, uh, it's an activated, um, can't even think, um, polyurethane, con it's a acrylic urethane conversion. What are these guys doing? Hi, Ezra. Is it cold out there? Yeah. So here's my boxes. I'm doing a video, Ezra. Here's my boxes. Um, I'm gonna load up all my artwork into those. There's a couple, a couple other cubes. Um, sometimes I make a base out of an, a little burl cap, a little burl, and then other ones are wood. I machined that in there. Here's a couple other ones. These are these are drying, nice and close to the heater, trying to speed things up so I can load it in the car. Then I've got a line felt in there. And if you want to see where I do that, it's kind of fun. Oh, it's dark in here. All right, here's my here's my milling machine. It is a CNC, but it doesn't work. I gotta fix it. Maybe I won't because I don't really care. I do everything manually anyway. So I just mount it in the vise and then uh, use a milling spindle and make that cool triangle. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. 
I'll try to be more consistent putting together videos. They don't maybe maybe they don't all have to be so highly polished. Um, tell me what you think. I'm tired. Bye. <laughs>